can't believe it. Today, we are back in Greenfield, the greatest city that has ever lived in City Skylines 2. Look at that. We've got a beautiful train, a beautiful bridge, a plane in the background. Is it? Where is it? Ah, it flew away. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this city is doing amazing! Would you look at this island? Something that really annoys me, though, is that it's always raining! It's always raining in this game! Ah, oh, This is episode number five, and in the previous episodes, well, we built all of this. We've got 19,703 citizens. Wow. We've got Bella Beach, Quark, Quark, no. Quirk quarters. President Lane with, well, President Dorky Dork living in here somewhere. I I don't know what he looks like, but uh, he lives here. In the previous episode, we unlocked high-density housing and started building it. We've got skyscrapers, everybody. Oh my god, they look amazing. Uh, well, would you look over here? <laughs> I've built a little bit off recording, and these are more skyscrapers. Well, you can obviously see that, but these are actually office buildings. Look, we've got a company called Capine in here. It's a software business. Produces media. Wait a minute. Is that where my YouTube videos are filmed? <laughs> and the city is actually doing amazing, though. We still have some glitches that I actually believe are glitches. For example, some bus lines still complain that there's no vehicles here. However, you can clearly see that a bus is trying to pick up or bring passengers to our college. But it's just simply not working. Is it kind of weird that we've... Uh, close this college into this skyscraper mayhem. I, I don't know. We've got a beautiful second train station over here that um, <clears throat> Currently only brings passengers to our first train station, which is over here next to our elementary school Is this the only elementary school in our city? I actually don't know for sure. I think I think it might be Oh, no, there's a there's another one right here. Good 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 Now it definitely really annoys me that the weather is always bad I have found a way to kind of like make things look better. That's by going into photo mode look it looks slightly better, but if I exit that, it goes dark again. Like, why, game? Why does it always have to look like poop? Talking about poop, um, we've got a poop river here. You can barely see it because it's so dark, but, but yeah. I don't know why this thing was accidentally turned on again. I don't know why. So now Bella Beach is literally covered in human feces. Good job, Jelly. Now, I've said what I want to do today in the previous episode, so in case you didn't watch that, I'll give you a reminder. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to build oh, 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 an airport! $750,000 is what it's going to cost, and I think the location is going to be somewhere over here. Now, looking at the map, we have other spaces we can use as well. Like, for example, I, I can also build it, like, over here so that the airplanes take off and come in over water. But an airport is not just for passengers. It will also be used for our cargo industrial area. We've got a cargo harbor with lots of things stored, mainly oil, because, well, that's, that's our income. We've got a cargo train station over here with nothing stored. The game is glitching, I am telling you. We have a beautiful harbor over here. If I turn off the weather, you'll be able to see it. There we go. There's the harbor. So really, it makes a lot of sense to build an airport over here next to the water and kind of connected to our future tourism area, which is here. We have um, a couple of high density commercial zones. They're actually complaining that there's not enough customers. So we have to bring the customers in somehow. Now, now, it does say we're losing money, around 3,000 an hour, but it's incorrect. It's another glitch. This game is very glitchy. It's brand new. I still enjoy it, though. I still enjoy it. I'm not going to complain the whole time. But if we build an airport over here, how should we place it? We could build it with the runway along the highway, I guess. We could even restructure the highway a little bit. Like in Amsterdam, the highway goes underneath of the airport. If we build it like this, would that look good? Because I don't know. Or, or should we have the runway, kind of like the cargo harbor is, floating on water? Huh? I actually think that that might be our best option. And then I can create a separate intersection for our highway, which will lead people to the airport. I think that might be good. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna start with some terraforming. But before we can do terraforming, I just realized I gotta move this um this 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 water line over here. So we're gonna buy a little bit more water. There we go. I just quite literally bought water. Great. Wait a minute. Whoa, why haven't I seen this before? Landmarks. Did we just unlock landmarks? A grand hotel! Okay, cool, cool, cool. I get distracted very easily. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on those landmarks after the airport. There we go. 
Look at this. A little bit of terraforming. That's the maximum we can do because that's where our boat line is. So let's just let's just redo our little boat line here. Okay. Easy does it. Easy does it, bro. There we go. That worked. Perfect. Now, I already started on a little key over here. You can see that this looks rather nice. It's actually a pedestrian key, which means people will only be able to walk here, right? That's what pedestrian stands for. Are you stupid? Oh, I should probably say City Skylines only works with likes, guys. I need likes underneath of these videos. Otherwise, the series will end, okay? So like the video and subscribe in case you haven't yet. It's very, very important for me. There we go. There we go. We're doing a little bit of terraforming. Terraforming is actually free in this game, which I actually find a little strange. Like, look how much sand we're misplacing not misplacing what are we doing with it exactly <laughs> Okay, how's that? Does that look all right? Or does it look a little strange? Whoa, all of a sudden it is so flat over here, but it does look kind of good Then what we're gonna do is go to transportation click on air and spend seven hundred fifty thousand dollars Wait, are we making money? Whoa, we're at this is the first time I see this thing being green. We're making money, baby Okay, let's have a look. I want to line it up with our coastline now we could remove a little bit of coastline and make it look even better it should kind of be somewhere over here right makes the most sense boom <laughs> we have an airport we have an actual airport that is crazy that is crazy all right we're gonna quickly turn off the airport right now because well, we don't have any roads connected to it, and it's just costing us money. Precious dollar bills that we don't have, really. Now, what we're going to do is very important. We are going to be grabbing our pedestrian street. All right, this is a little trick of mine. We put this on 3.75. Does that work? No, it doesn't. It's a, it's a very good trick. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. Five meters. That's, that's almost a little high, isn't it? Okay, let's give this a try. We're just going to dig kind of like... Ooh, I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's a little bit of a like a, like a tunnel kind of vibe. Then we're gonna grab our pedestrian alley and basically plays a key here. Okay. Yes That looks really good. That actually looks really really good. We'll simply continue that seems to be a kind of like an issue back here though Okay, that looks really good. We're gonna remove that land later. Don't worry. You're gonna you're gonna understand my point here There we go. Okay now. Let's remove some of this water. I mean ground not not water of course is that gonna like touch the wall or is it just gonna keep floating here like oh yes yes nice wow that actually looks really good right 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 another thing i want to do is kind of make the water a little bit more shallow here so we're we're just gonna add a little bit of shallowness i feel like this will make the key just feel and look better and then we are gonna grab our soften terrain tool and just soften this out you know yes bro look at that beach vibes it's always raining so no one will actually go to the beach but hey nice okay so now that that's complete we can work on the intersection so i want to make the intersection somewhere over here we have actually a forest area which i need to be a little bit careful with or i might have to delete this for now i can i can put it back later now i'm actually quite terrible with intersections Okay, but I, I want to make my own or should I just should I, should I just put one down? Uh, should I put one down? No, come on. I got to make my own. Come on. I'm cool like that. I can do that. Clover leaf. Now, this isn't a clover situation. I mean, we could definitely put one of these down. Should we just put one down? We can we can always make our own in the future, right? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Just line it up nicely and boom. Whoa. All right. Now, we are going to change this over here because this is going to be connected to our road. <laughs> Okay, is this even an intersection? What I've done is I've basically just connected this, this main road. Uh, I really am not sure if you can call this an intersection at all. All right, now connect up the ones I actually destroyed. Grab our highway tool. Go to zero meters elevation. Click on the highway. Click on the road. And here we're going to slowly elevate a little already. Okay, is that good? I kind of made that one custom, right? Right, I'm very good at this game. To make it even better, this is an entry lane, which means that this is a trick. Triple lane and click. Wow, I, <laughs> I'm impressed. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Okay, I, I'd say this turn over here is rather sharp, but okay, who, who really cares right now? All right, so now that our intersection is completed, I feel like our city is really cramped. Maybe I've always lived in cramped cities. 
like Monaco. Anyway, now that our city is completed, we're gonna turn on parallel mode and we are just gonna have to connect this somehow to our, oh no, wait, I need another intersection here. This makes a lot of sense. From intersection to intersection, question mark? Yeah, this one's rather large. Okay, maybe we don't need an intersection, but what we have to do is get an actual big road. And I don't want to connect our cargo terminal, which I believe is over here, with our pedestrian uh, or <laughs> civilian terminal. So we are going to connect these separately, if I can. So let's have a look then. We are going to grab a regular regular road, six lane, because these are three and three. We're going to connect this over. Wow, that actually works. I'm somewhat surprised. Would you look at that? Why is there always elevation issues? Like, I literally flattened this terrain so this wouldn't happen, but it still does. Now, this six-lane road over here is going to be connected to our industrial area. And um, this is so compact over here. So, I just got to find a good way to do this. Maybe the best way is to do it from... Oof. We change this one in a... Oh, no. I don't know, man. Can we just connect it to our current roundabout? Is that strange? This might create traffic problems in the future, but we're just gonna give it a shot right now anyway. I feel like this is our best shot. Wait, no. What we can do... Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, so that is the straight on lane. And then the highway. Aha! The roundabout highway will get its own exit towards our six lane road over here. Good, good, good. Is that working? I think it is. I just realized, though which is kind of a mistake of mine. This roundabout already is like a highway exit. So there's multiple ways to get into the airport, but maybe that's not a big deal. I don't, I really don't know what's the best solution here, guys. All right, let's grab that six lane road again. And we're simply going to connect it to the other side of the industrial park. Nice. Now we have to figure out a way to connect this thing. I, I'm terrible at these things. Like that, is that good? Well, why does that look so weird though? I <laughs> don't really know what I'm doing. Can I like fix it a little bit? All right, now we got to connect this side somehow. Come on, come on. Just take it. Yes. Okay, um... I'm gonna have to rework on that intersection at another point. I'm really not happy with it, but we're, we're just gonna continue on something else for now. I think I think it will work, I, I, I guess. Apart from this, this is obviously not gonna work. I just never really understand why things don't work. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, grab that six lane large road and connect it to the top. All right. Okay, so then we gotta connect our pedestrian zone, which is this terminal right over here. I don't really know why I separated it, but it makes sense in the end. Okay, just let, let me just figure this out. So we're just gonna connect it over here. Can we build underground roundabouts? That would be really cool. Okay, there we go. Wow, I really don't know if this is gonna fix our traffic issues. I feel like I might have made it very complicated but we have an airport all right let's turn it on play the game and um how how do we get planes to land here wait a minute oh wait yes 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 passenger airline tool create a route uh oh oh, oh. add new waypoint here oh yes and land oh my god it's working oh there's another one right here there's another one. Oh, ho, ho. this is sick and another one um, how many? Oh, we have another one. How many waypoints can we add? Like, how many other airports are there in the world? Okay, so we've got ooh, another one right there. So uh, it looks like on every corner we have one more terminal that we can use. Oh, there's another one over here. My God, that's a lot more than I thought. So what's this? Airplane cargo terminal. Oh, oh, you have to pay for the cargo terminal. Business lounge. Maybe we don't need that. Services. Small shops. Yes, we do need it. Oh, okay. So now we have a cargo terminal as well. Oh, and that requires a train line. Interesting. Gosh, this is all so complicated, huh? We're going to grab the train line over here. And we're simply going to extend it without breaking up as much as possible. There we go. That is actually a really nice line. And we've also connected it to our other cargo areas. Oh my God, we've got a lot of training going on. Oh, we got our first plane, dude. Okay, zero passengers taken off, but that might be a part of the glitch. Whoa, nice. Why are there electricity problems? What have I done? I might have to fix our electricity here, but uh, okay, cool. I guess what we can do now is create a cargo 
airplane route. So I was correct about the highway thing. So these are going to be connected to other cities. I don't know how it works with making money. See, I guess I got to tax the airport. I, I'm not too sure. Okay, so now I got train lines connected. Okay, this is all good. This is all great. Let's have a look. I've got a lot of milestone points. We have electricity issues. We could unlock the gas power plant now. Coal power plant. I might, I might actually have to go for that. You see, I don't really care about the pollution in my city. We've got separate zones. Bones? Oh my god, this is humongous! Okay, somebody could have warned me how big this thing was. I, there's no way I'm gonna place that on my island. Okay, I, I think I could place this one here. How much electricity is that gonna produce? 300 megawatts! We are gonna be selling electricity too. I think I might need a couple of transformer stations over here. Is that gonna work? Do we now have enough electricity production? Is it working? 118% efficiency. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> We've got so much electricity and no money left, but yes! Nice! Oh my god, we have expanded, bro. This is so good. What's this? Electricity bottleneck. What? Yeah, but... I don't get it. What are you complaining about? Okay, well, that's very, very good. I guess right now what we can do is turn off our small coal plant. In fact, we can probably remove it. Sweet! That should save us a little bit of money as well. Woo! Now we have 21,000 citizens, a functioning airport. Oh my god. Humongous planes taking off. Skyscraper office districts. The city is booming, guys. The city is actually booming. We have a ton of demand, which I think we are going to have to be placing over here right now next to the airport. Um, I don't really want to build all too much over here. Like, I mean, if we put a building here, that's a little strange. You know, we got airplanes taking off and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of map that out. I'm just going to grab um, a path, basically. And we're going to say that in this area, we are not going to build. We're going to do the same on the other side. In this area, we are not going to build. In fact, we could build parks. A little park as a, um, a viewing platform, I guess. Or really low buildings could work as well. Okay, we're starting to map out some roads. Starting to look pretty good. I thought since we have a lot of office demand and we got an airport here, it might actually be kind of good to create a tiny little office district super close to the airport we already have people starting to build over here that's very good now i actually haven't named any of this area the harbor and the airport i'm thinking of a really cool name uh, i'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna be okay so we're just gonna start to map this out so we all we obviously have court quarters and tilt the towers and then this new district which includes the airport by the way is going to be maybe you guys can guess it vegas oh Ville. There you go. Vegasville. Not Las Vegas. We got Vegasville, baby. Whoop! Come over here. Come party in our town. This is Vegasville. <laughs> So, uh, Vegasville is gonna have mostly low residential living, but high density, um, tourism things, I guess. I think what we really should start, start to do is map this area out. So, Vegas in general, in real life, has a lot of grids. So, we could, we could start with some grids, you know? Look at that. That doesn't look stupid, right? Why does it look so weird? Look, it thinks it needs to put a pole there. Now you can look underneath the highway. Sometimes this game is so glitchy. Just gonna remove it like that. Actually, we're gonna remove that as well. Ooh, I really like this. It's really starting to look good. We're gonna remove this road. I don't like the angle of it. There we go. That has fixed that problem. Nice. And we're gonna make some more grids over here. A grid system in Vegas. That only makes sense. Oh, wow. Would you look at this? I uh, built some roads. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that, I think. <laughs> we have a ton of demand, and I think it's really time we start filling up this, this, uh, this Vegas area. Like I mentioned, we need some low density over here in the edges of Vegas. These guys will work in the casino. You know, they're, they're gonna, um, they're gonna make sure it keeps, it keeps running. And we still have commercial demand, so we're just gonna keep filling that up. To make this area more attractive, we are gonna start using some of our landmarks. We are making a lot of money, uh, but we don't actually have any money for these landmarks. I didn't realize they were so expensive. I thought maybe we could afford at least one. 1. 1.6 million. This is the next one we're gonna be able to afford. We could take out a small little loan. Just a small loan of $2 million. We, see, we're making money, so it's okay. We'll pay it back. This is gonna help. Oh, wow. The National Gallery of Art or the hotel? Maybe we should start with the Grand Hotel, guys. What do you think? Grand Hotel? This is Vegas in the end. 
This right here is going to be the strip. So we'll start with the hotel. Whoa. Oh, and you know what? I just realized we might have to continue those keys uh, on the other side as well. So we have a key over here. That looks pretty good, I guess. And now we just got to make sure we, we continue that. So we're going to grab our keying tool. Is that it? Nope. That looks terrible. So hard to make keys in this game. Like, couldn't they just add it? Surely it was just a possibility for them to add it, right? Like, why do we have to use this, like, annoying tool? All right, look at that. People are moving in. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, uh, we have so much low-density residential demand. I really do think we got to fill that up. Our little office district. Nice. The airport is working. The airport is working. We have our first passengers. Look at that, 13 passengers. Uh, and I'm not sure about the cargo route, but I, I, I guess that's working as well. We actually have industrial demand. We might have to add a little bit more industrial area. Now that, now that we removed that cargo plan over here, we could just uh, continue it, right? So we're simply gonna grab our little rope tool. We're gonna click here and we're gonna click here. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna add some industrialization. Wow. Pollute Park is just amazing. I love it. And it's still raining. I hate it. Now, let's have a look. We have some complaints in the city. We have, I think, a power line here that's broken. I gotta fix that. Bleep, bloop. That's because we removed the forest area. These guys are complaining about no vehicles, but clearly you can see a vehicle there. So I think that's a glitch. We've got someone waiting for a hearse, which is this thing. Um, we actually have a good amount spread around so hopefully that issue doesn't last we've got a high rent issue really the way to do that is we gotta make sure the taxes are are quite high for people in low housing that way they'll move to smaller buildings and their rent will drop i guess and we have some not enough customer warnings i don't know that's a difficult one um you see these are mixed housings is that right? Yeah, they are, yeah. So we've got living at the top floor and commercial stores at the bottom. Doesn't make much sense that it says it's not enough customers. Doesn't make any sense, actually. But we'll add some small homes here on the on the boulevard. This is a big road, so it's going to look rather strange. But, you know, we just got to fill it up. This guy all of a sudden is abandoned. That happens when uh, not enough people live in these towers. We're going to remove some of the tower demand. And maybe in a way we should keep the towers really to the central area of our land. Oh, we got some more towers over here now. Starting to look really good, huh? Wow. <laughs> it looks amazing. We actually don't have any complaints in the, uh, in the office central here. Efficiency is 99%. Great, man. This is this is working well. Oh, something else I added off recording was tiny little parks in our residential area. Look, look, look. How nice is that? How nice? I know. I, I, I'm really good at this game. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I spread around some like small little high density office buildings. I feel like the city is really starting to get a skyline. I like it. And look at our Vegasville over here. People are starting to move in. It's looking good. So I thought because it's around the highway, we can do a little bit of low residential in this area and then some medium, but no, no tall towers, medium in Vegas. Vegas doesn't really have many skyscrapers now, does it? We're just going to add cool landmarks though. Like we can actually afford this one. We're still making money, bro. Should we add this one up? This is a botanical garden. Yeah, we're going to have to add that one here on the strip. Traffic issue. Issues? This might be our only spot in the map that we have traffic issues. Uh, Vegas is popular. What can I say? Vegas is very popular. Let's remove this middle road over here and put our garden down. Now, I'll do it off recording, but obviously I got to connect some public transportation routes to Vegasville. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> A beautiful garden. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot. It's very important to add parking everywhere, man. I am stupid. Also, it's important to just up the parking fees like crazy. Oh, by the way, Vegasville is not going to allow street parking. That's going to have to be one of our policies. I'm pretty sure Vegas doesn't doesn't have much street parking, so that's only good. Roadside parking fee is 50 bucks. Now we still have a ton of office demand. I don't get it, but our office district is just doing absolutely fantastic. Now, for one of the last things I want to do in today's episode is um, continue our roads. So we only have a couple tiles left to purchase. So we own this entire island. Let's see. We have a tiny little spot over here. There you go. Tiny little spot over there. I think that's it. <laughs> Which means we can now continue our beautiful road. And I'm not going to fill this up with, with uh, buildings right now, but eventually, guys. Oof. It's going to be good, eh? But obviously, we can already map this out. Just kind of want to make sure it looks somewhat similar. 
Look at that. So our central area continues this direction. And then over here, what we'll do is we'll continue Vegas. Would you look at that? How amazing. <laughs> and this will all come together over here. What a beautiful island we've got. And the tram line, which is in the center of the island, will obviously continue the entire way down. Over here on this leg, we are gonna have to create a cool road. But you know what? This is gonna be low residential living, okay? And it's gonna be rather luxurious over here. So no skyscrapers. This is kind of like Long Island vibes, you know? Wow, look at that. And it's hilly too. How beautiful. Now we might actually have to get a tiny little extra industrial area over here because we've got more oil, but that should not be an issue. Another industrial zone. I can't believe how well our city is doing. We're literally still making money. I got to send back some of that money for the loan though. Um, how do I do that? I've only got 600 grand, so let's pay that back. Boom. We're still making money. Look at that. We're making so much money. Now, one thing I do realize is that we need kind of like a park, a central park area. I guess somewhere over here, we could build that next to more skyscrapers and stuff like that. But like I said, we're just going to work on some roads right now and we're not actually going to fill much of this in. I just want to make sure things look really, really good. You know, it's beautiful, isn't it? Ha! Wow. <laughs> Am I a good builder? I, I, I really like to think I am. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really confident right now. Like, this city is looking good, guys. It's looking good. And we're making money. Oh, and we're making tons of money. 14000 an hour. See, that's why I think these cargo planes are working, but it just never says they are. But they are working, I think. I'm pretty sure. We're going to cover this entire island. And you know what's even crazier? Look how small our island is compared to the rest of the map that we're going to buy later on. <laughs> now, we still actually have a ton of office demand. So we're just going to continue our skyscraper build. Look at this. It's quite literally working. I just want to make sure... We, uh, we don't let wait too long with our demand. I mean, we're making tons of money, so we might as well. Uh, our railway road is going to have to continue over here as well. Now, the only question is where do we build our next train station, right? I think it should be somewhere here at the bottom of the map. Um, I could put it down already. Let's do that. We're not gonna, we're not gonna start it yet. We're not gonna activate it or anything, but we just want to make sure it's built. Large parks? Why did I not know about these things? Are you kidding me? Oh my, I don't look, you know, I sometimes I just don't look. We have so many things that we haven't unlocked yet. A large plaza, large city plaza. This one is not large. Like what? How is that? Okay, this one's gonna be right here. We're just gonna put a couple of things down because I'm having a lot of fun with it. Wow. Wow. Whoa. And if you turn around. Whoa. <laughs> yes. It's finally not raining, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> How amazing. <laughs> How amazing. Now, it is actually very important to put parks down. The game likes it. There we go. We'll put another one next to the train station. It doesn't cost us much, and it really helps. All right, I think I'm going to leave it here for today's episode. I'm going to do some small fixes. Like, these guys are still complaining about high rent. I'm going to do all of them off recording, because sometimes they can be a little boring. Uh like lack of high skilled labor we you see the industrial part might st might start to be far away from these high skilled people over here gonna have to have a good look at them but i think our city is doing really well for the first time ever we're making good amounts of money we actually do need a little bit more parking and i think traffic wise we literally don't have any traffic at all it's kind of crazy so thank you for watching click on the like button if you want to see another episode and see you next time bye bye click here for another video